Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and tonight we are doing a Star Trail with a smartphone, an Android smartphone. So tonight will be an update from an old video that I did a few years ago in how to do some Star Trails, but this time we have some new cool apps that will help us a lot. If you guys um, try to make the other tutorials, so uh, quick reminder, this one it's way easier. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but I had to do an update. It's new. It's new, ladies and gentlemen. Try to avoid a little bit the light pollution, not as rigorous as to photograph the Milky Way, but so this is a really small village that it's in front of us. Try to avoid the street lights that I didn't do right here. So if you have the moon, it's not a big deal. Just don't point straight at it because they're gonna make a big white dash on it. So I pointed to the north, to the, the Polaris, the North Pole Star. It's good if you really take a longer time, but if you point east or east, you will have more star trails because, well, here it's just rotating a little bit on this point, but the further you go to the other side, it will rotate way more. Let's do this. Launch the screen recorder so you guys can see what I am doing. And let's slide down. And I'm gonna slide down and push all the way the screen to minimal. We don't want anything that eats up the battery way too much. Talking about that, I'm gonna put the phone in airplane mode. So like this, we won't receive uh, notification, calls, SMS or something like that. But for safety, I'm gonna put my phone in silence. Now, another thing that I am observing now is that my battery is only 34%. That won't be enough. Just make sure that you have enough juice to do something like that because long exposures eat a lot of battery but I'm gonna use a power bank to keep my phone with some juice to work there we go as you can see here the my phone it's on this tripod over here and the way that I connected to this tripod it's pretty damn basic I am using a cheap phone connection on the back and boom there you go now let's launch the, the camera app. So the camera app that I'm gonna use is the one that came with the phone. Usually they are the best because it was built for your specific lens on your phone and your specific sensor on your phone. So use that one. So let's launch the camera app and I'm gonna slide up and I'm gonna choose the pro mode. So check on your phone which setting you can have everything fully manual. That is very important. As you can see, I'm not shooting in RAW, because in this case, we won't use RAW. If you are an advanced photographer, probably you will do it, and probably you won't do it on the phone, but there you go. Let's start putting all the settings. First of all, is the ISO. I'm gonna put 3200 ISO. Now, many of you will say that it's way too much, but I already did some tests. For example, this photo is 800 ISO and it isn't good enough. If it's good enough for you, okay, but I want to have more details on the stars, okay? Now the white balance, 10 o'clock. So the white balance will be very important in this case because we are not photographing in RAW and we want the color to be consistent all the way through. So I'm gonna use, for me, will be 5200, around 5200, because it's the daylight. If you want to get a little bit warmer, push a little bit more warmer. If you want to be a little bit colder, you can push a little bit colder. But I want daylight, and daylight is around 5200 Kelvin. So that's the key over there. Now let's control the shutter and the shutter will be the max of my phone. So my phone, the max is 30 seconds. I'm gonna use 30 seconds. And the focus, of course, has to be also manual and I'm gonna put to infinity. Infinity on this uh, phone, actually, it's quite simple to understand. It's the mountains one and the closest focus is the flower one. So let's put in the mountains. So like that, I know that they 
the focus is in infinity. Boom, that. Now that everything is manual, let's make a test shot. And there we go. Let's see what we have. It's not the brightest photo, it's not the, the coolest photo, but I am having a little bit of flare caused by that light down the street. So if you can avoid that, it is the best thing that you could do. But for this tutorial, I will see if I can avoid it. So let me just rotate like so. And I have another street light. So I'm going to leave it as is. The, the way that flare is going is telling me something. I think the lens is dirty. There we go. So that should take care of that. And let's make another test shot. Now that we have our settings dialed in on the camera, now we're gonna launch a really cool app that I discovered called Intervolometer. This app, it's pretty damn cool. Actually, what it does, it simulates that it's something is pressing on the screen, like the shutter button. Really, really cool. I'm gonna just press in the middle over there. Here we have this floating windows and let's go to the camera app. Let's make sure that the shutter is pointing. Yeah, if I press here, you can see that I am pointing at the shutter. That's perfect. If I want to correct it, I just move it around. The timer will be zero seconds. I don't want to start in something. I want to start at zero, okay. The number of images, I won't put anything because I want to start to infinity until I lose my patience. And the longer you get, the better. So if you stay two hours, three hours with a clear sky, go for it, okay? The interval will be 31 seconds. You are wondering, well, why I am choosing 31 seconds instead of 30 seconds if I am taking a picture of 30 seconds? The answer is recording times. So. The smartphone will need some time to process and record the image on the memory and that could take a half a second, one second or maybe two seconds and you have to test for your phone. And as I am screen recording on my phone, I have to test it. Let's press in the start in infinity there and let's see how it works. So it did press the shutter button and let's see after, after 30 seconds if it will take the second picture one after the other. Yes, it's taking. I just stopped the screen recording, but just to be sure that everything is working properly, I'm gonna wait a few shots, okay? I am lucky enough to have a clean sky directly to the north. Okay, now you see it's not taking the picture here. So I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna put the delay Instead of 31, I'm gonna put 32 seconds. For some reason, 31 seconds is it's not enough. I, one second, it's not enough. Two seconds probably will be enough. That's why I stay here looking at this just to be sure that it's working properly. So two seconds probably will be enough time to the phone to save the image, process the image, and save it in the memory. Two, one, there you go. And it's taking the second picture. That, okay, now. For my phone, maybe the battery is way too full, maybe it's doing something on the background, maybe whatever it's doing, it's taking more than one second to save the picture and be ready to take the next picture. So yeah, pay attention, check if it's taking the, the first five, six shots without any problem. And if it is, you can keep going to one and it's keep going. Ah, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Okay, just let it run now. So I see you in a bit. There's two. There's two. So I have bad news. Uh, now this is running from 136 minutes and the whole sky, it's cloudy now. So we're gonna have some clouds in the last shots. So yeah, that's a bit of a annoying, but Let's stop this, so, okay, let me just press stop. Immediately the app suggests to open another, another app and do the start rails. You could select as well the time lapse. If you have a lot of clouds and you want to do a cool time lapse, that is really, really cool app. 
but let's create start rails okay let's tap to import it suggests the most re recent ones and let's select all and as you can see the last selected ones are all with clouds to so new let's go out from recent and let's go for camera on the phone and let's go down until we don't have the clouds okay from here let's click and press and drag and let's go up let's try to make those ones select and let's let it run now i can see already that the polaris is not perfectly at the center but no big deal and the clouds are uh, did did ruin a little bit but not that much so one problem that i noticed already is when i zoom in you can see that there is some dots before starting the start rail i was testing out so the the, the pre-shots so i have to not select them well to have a straight line without these dots so let's do that again back Import images and let's start this again. Not selecting the first ones, let's select these ones. Yes. This photo starts to have some clouds on it, so I'm not selecting them. Let's select. And yeah, looking way better. There we go. Let's press view looking great but i'm gonna edit them because i don't like that much the color uh, during my test i saw that it was a little bit yellowish i decided to not change it but let's try to fix it with the editing so let's use snapseed you can use which software you want to edit let's rotate this let's approve this and i'm gonna do a really fast editing like the image, contrast a little bit down, and the situation, let's pump it up a little bit, ambience, a little bit less, highlights, let's push it uh, down, let's even less so, the shadows I want to have a little bit of more shadows, and the warmth, I want this a little bit colder, and as you can see, looks way better, you can see actually the different colors of the stars itself, contrast I want to remove a little bit more, because I want to have contrast with curves, let's select actually the RGB, all the lumens, there we go, let's prove this, so the editing experiment, you have nothing to lose, so play with it, okay, I just, doing my own stuff let's do this see if it's not too much it's good enough and approve this and there we go press done i'm gonna open my gallery and i actually noticing some dots some strange dots over there it looks like the the satellites that elon musk sent to space <laughs> maybe it is maybe it's ruining everybody's pictures because that is not normal. There we go. So everything of this was made on the phone. It's amazing. Probably if you work in RAW, if you use a real camera, you will get way better results. But you have this on your pocket. Be an advanced amateur, I really advise a camera, but just to introduce, to have fun as we did today. Yeah, use your smartphone and start playing with it. There you go. How to do star trails with the smartphone so drop a like if you learned something comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this i'm miguel until next time see ya